Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video, I'm not actually talking about the, the scope setup next to me. I'm talking about the uh, SynScan Wi-Fi adapter for Orion GoTo mounts. This little guy, very tiny, it attaches to any of the Orion GoTo mounts, and it creates a Wi-Fi hotspot, so it replaces the hand controller. So you connect to it via your smartphone, either an Apple iPhone or an Android, and you can control the uh, motions and the, the, all the go-to aspects, anything you can do with a hand controller, you now would do with a smartphone. And even more, there's, there's more advanced functions in the smartphone app. It's called the SynScan Pro uh, for Android or iPhone. And it does everything the hand controller does and more. So let me show you how this works and how it connects, and let's get started. First of all, uh, connection. The, uh, the little Wi-Fi dongle comes with two adapter cables, uh, depending on which Orion GoTo mount you're going to be using. Uh, we've got cables for the Starseeker, which is what this is here. That's the uh, large Ethernet jack on one side, which plugs in here. And then it has the smaller RJ. I always forget which number it is, but it's the smaller port that attaches to the Starseeker. It also comes with a, uh, a larger cable on both ends. That attaches to something like the Sirius mount. But we've got adapters for anything from the Orion uh, SkyQuest go-to mounts, the Starseeker, those are both Altaz design scopes, uh, to the Skyview Pro go-to, the Sirius, the Atlas, the HDX, all of the equatorial mounts. Uh, it even works on the uh, auto tracker, our little tabletop uh, auto tracking mount, which isn't go-to out of the box, but you plug this thing in and it becomes a little go-to mount. So a very handy feature. Let me show you how it attaches to the Starseeker. So first of all, set up your Starseeker mount. You don't need to uh, include the uh, SynScan controller because again, this is replacing it. It attaches right inside there where the uh, hand controller would normally go and it just dangles there. It's not very long, so it's not gonna get uh, caught up with any part of the tripod. It just sits, sits on the side and spins around with the mount head. Next, you're gonna power up your mount. Uh, you could either use the AA batteries in the Starseeker mount, but because uh, I didn't think and I don't have enough uh, AA batteries before we started this video shoot, I'm gonna power it up with our uh, Dynamo Pro, which is a great way to power this thing for many nights. And just a little pro tip here, I just attach the Dynamo Pro to the uh, tripod accessory tray. It just hangs there. That way you don't have a cable hanging out on the ground. A uh, really handy way to do it. And a very powerful battery. Plugs in. Fire up the mount, and now you're ready to go to the uh, uh, SynScan Pro app on your phone. As soon as you power up your mount, the Wi-Fi adapter is also powered. It gets its power from the mount, so you don't need uh, any batteries in the, uh, the Wi-Fi adapter itself. Very handy. Uh, as soon as you power it up, uh, go to the uh, uh, Wi-Fi settings on your phone, either, again, either iPhone or Android, and find the Wi-Fi uh, connection uh, called uh, SynScan and connect to it. Then you're ready to connect to the telescope through the SynScan Pro app. I've booted up the program, I click connect, it searches for it, it finds it, and you're ready to start moving your telescope. That's the fastest I've ever connected to anything. And I've also, if you've noticed, I haven't put in any coordinates into, normally if you're gonna do a star alignment with the um, SynScan controller, you've got to enter your latitude, longitude, and the time. Well, it already gets it from the phone, so that's not necessary to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, input into the phone or into the mount now. Next, you're ready to align the telescope. And this, again, can be done without the hand controller. Remember, this is now the hand controller. So you click on the alignment uh, button, and you've got several different alignment routines. You've got a one star, a three star, brightest star. There is a north level alignment. Uh, it's daytime now, so I'm gonna have to do a fake alignment, but it's really quick and easy, especially if you do the north level alignment, because I know which way north is. So I'm gonna proceed uh, with that uh, method first. So I simply click on it. It asks me to pick some points in the sky, and then I click begin alignment. So level your telescope, point it northwards. It's pretty much done right now. I'm gonna hit next. It's gonna go to its uh, alignment point in the sky, so I'm just gonna wait for it to get there. All right, so it's gone to where it thinks Venus is, and that should be pretty much correct for this time of day. Um, I'm not actually gonna see Venus, obviously. It's also raining outside. Um, I'm gonna then manually center Venus, because it won't be perfectly centered when it uh, guesses as to where it is. So. I can set the rate to something lower. I'd be looking through the scope, uh, and I'd center it with the up, down, left, right buttons. And then hit OK. It'll go to its next point, do the same thing. 
All right, up, down, left, right, center, your, your next target. And hit OK, and you're done. It is now aligned and tracking. Really quick, really easy, now you're ready to go. So if you look on the main screen for the app, you've got uh, several different uh, catalogs. There's the star catalog, deep sky. When you go into them, it breaks it down into more granularity. You've got solar system, name stars. Let's click Venus. Go to. And we're back at Venus. And I know that was where Venus was. That was one of my alignment points. So, uh, and it's still pointing the same direction. So I'm pretty sure this is tracking very accurately right now. Um, if you look back on the main page, you've got other functions. There's deep sky objects, Messiers. You can punch in the, uh, the catalog number of the object. Um, utilities, there's a bunch of different features, uh, including like tonight's best. So it'll suggest objects based on your time of night that you might want to look at. It's not going to uh, pick really faint things. It'll pick the highlight objects. So that's a great way to kind of get started if you're not really sure what you want to look at for that night. One of my favorite features, just because it's really cool, is the uh, point and go function. Uh, if you go back to the main menu, just click on utilities and then you'll see the point and go button. All you do is aim your, uh, the long axis of your phone in the direction you want to go and click the button point and go. And it'll send the telescope to that area of the sky. Uh, that's pretty much where I was uh, aiming the, uh, the phone. If I wanted to try it one more time, let's do it maybe a little bit higher up. Go. And I'll leave it there and see pretty much it aligns the telescope with the orientation of my, with my phone. So pretty slick feature. That's, uh, that's one to kind of impress your friends with. There's more advanced features that are not included in the hand controller but are on the app. I mean, that's the power of the phone with the app. There's, there's more processing power. There's more than you can do rather than just staring at the two-line LCD screen that the SynScan controller gives you. Uh, if you go into advanced features, you've got uh, many choices like polar alignment, the polar scope. It'll tell you where Polaris is around your, your uh, polar axis. That's obviously not going to be helpful with an Altaz mount, but if you've connected the Atlas or the Sirius mount and it's equatorial, those will come in very handy. There's an auto home, uh, PEC, uh, camera control. So lots of features that uh, uh, are, that go above and beyond what the SynScan controller itself can do. So all in all, it's a very handy uh, device to get more information and more use out of your telescope than what the SynScan controller can do on its own. Uh, it creates its own Wi-Fi hotspot. So that means if you're out in the middle of nowhere with no Wi-Fi signal, no internet, it still works. This, this does not require the internet to, to work. It creates its own hotspot. So you just have to be within the range of the Wi-Fi uh, in order to control your telescope. Uh, I didn't mention the arrow buttons. If you just want to manually move the scope around, you can change the speed. And I've got it right now at the fastest speed. Not only is there left, right, up, and down buttons, but there's also 45-degree uh, angle buttons in any direction. So if I was to do that button, it actually moves it in both directions at the same time. So you've got even more manual control over it than you do with the four buttons on the uh, SynScan controller. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion Wi-Fi adapter for any of our go-to mounts. Uh, works on Apple devices, works on Android. You can download the software from the relevant places. Thank you very much. Clear skies.